Hey guys, I've got here that beautiful 2004 Mercedes-Benz C230 with the manual transmission and it needs the oil change. So this model has a beautiful small four-cylinder turbo engine and Mercedes-Benz tells us here that they recommend the Mobile One engine oil. The amount is 5.8 quarts. So to start this oil change I have to make sure that the engine is hot so the oil can nicely flow outside of the engine and the vehicle is in the level position. When I got vehicle leveled and securely support it. Remember the safety play, uh, first. We have to remove the shield, the plastic splash shield, which is underneath the vehicle. It's uh, secured by the these bolts, and they are eight millimeters. So I'm using this little eight millimeter ratchet. Here you can see both shields which were under the vehicle. Now I need a oil catching pan and the wrench number 13 and this is where the plug is located underneath the vehicle I left the wrench already there so you can see where the plug is so you release the bolt it's a 13 millimeter start undoing it with the pan already positioned underneath the plug and don't lose the washer which is next to the bolt. Here you can see that oil nicely going out. Now I will finally open the engine oil filler cap. The next is replace that engine oil filter which you can finally see the housing right here. They didn't leave much space for us there so I will use this adjustable wrench and very carefully because it's made of plastic Counterclockwise, I will undo it. Okay. And having another catching pan for oil and some rags, I will remove that oil filter housing and try to not spill any oil around, of course. Excellent. Now to replace that oil filter on that housing, I will remove the filter. But also, I will replace these three o-rings which you can see right so one two three the third one is right here so this is the new filter with the housing one two and three new o-rings. I did slightly lubricated them and now it's ready to be put back in the vehicle. Now this is important. I do hand tight it and at the very end I will use this combination wrench. But please don't over tight it. It's the rubber o-ring which is sealing it and not how tight or how much you tighten it. After 20 minutes or so we are ready to put back the oil pan drain plug. That's the washer I was talking about. The filter didn't come with new one so I will reuse this one and this bolt we will tight a lot. So now a relatively tricky part it's coming. Why? Normally you will put the oil in the engine and use the dipstick to check for the level. But look, there's no dipstick. In this case, Mercedes is using electronic engine oil level check. So remo we remove the oil. It's a black one, but we don't know how much went out. The Mercedes says 5.8 quarts of oil for this engine. So I don't want to overfill it, because then I can start again. So I will put exactly 5 quarts and then I will use the electronic system to check the oil level. 
I have five quarts inside, so let's close the lid here, the, the cover, and let's go inside of the vehicle. So now I will start up this baby. Check the lights. Okay, everything's fine. I will let it run for a few minutes. This gives me chance to go and check if I don't have a engine oil leaks anywhere and then I will continue. So now we are finally ready to check engine oil level. The vehicle is in the flat position and the engine oil is warm. It was sitting for more than five minutes. I will enter the key in the second position. One, two. And now if I am, I have to go by these menus in the odometer setting, which is right now here. And I can use these buttons to get in the engine oil level measuring. It's happening right now. Yeah, and it tells us that we need two more quarters to reach max oil level. Excellent, thank you. So I added the amount of oil which was requested by computer. Now I'm ready to put the splash shield underneath the vehicle because I know I don't have any leaks. I can go and reset the maintenance interval uh, button and the vehicle is ready for the use. Thank you for your time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Aloha!